guys what is up welcome back to my youtube channel it is your girl and your daddy here joe viola and i'm back with another mother freaking vid d oh 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 all right guys welcome back to my channel by the title of today's video it is going to be corn or no morning routine in quarantine or while in quarantine something along those lines you know um Let's just say we've been wanting to make this video for like the last, what, two, three, three days? Yeah, two or three days now, but Water. honestly, we've been going to bed super late and then waking up super late, and we're just so tired that we don't want to do anything else. We literally had to like force ourselves to get out of bed this morning to make this video. <laughs> Didn't even hear the alarm. We said right, we <laughs> did not hear the alarm. We, what, we said it for 10, and we still woke up at like 12 o'clock, and then we, you know, from there we went on to make our video, and so that's what we've been doing today so we hope you guys enjoy this video so stay tuned hey guys what is up welcome to jaquel viola's morning routine while in quarantine no i'm just kidding guys this is our daily morning routine every single morning we started doing this way before the quarantine even started but we thought we would give you guys a video so here we go begins with me and des sleeping and then her alarm going off and nobody wants to hear that but you know we gotta wake up at some point right we can't be lazy all day every single day all right guys so after you know des's alarm goes off she usually is the first one to wake up because me i like my beauty sleep come on now who doesn't so she gets up and she does whatever she wants to do but me i lay there until i'm fully ready to get up you see me over there i'm usually moaning and groaning when she tries to wake me up but that's not just her anybody that tries to wake me up when i'm in a nice deep sleep i'm usually like mm, mm. i'm like yeah i make weird noises so i finally stretch my body out and then i lay there i'm like oh gosh i don't want to get up but i know that i can't be lazy so there i go sitting up looking at our phones just like every single one of you guys do when you wake up you look at your phones but in this case i'm just looking at des's phone because why my phone is recording this video so i can't really record and use my phone all at one time so just looking at des's phone for the duration of this video um next i pretend to look for my phone because that's usually what happens in the morning is that i can never find my phone because it's under me because i fall asleep with it watching or listening to some meditation so yeah, so I'm over here lo looking at Des's phone, seeing whatever Facebook has to say, seeing whatever Instagram, Twitter has to say. I'm over here looking for my phone, pretending like I'm trying to look for it, but in reality, I'm using it to make this video. So, pretending to look for my phone, we sit there for a few minutes, I'm like, where is it, where is it? Yeah, I can't find it, but oh yeah, it's right there. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wake up now, stretch! Oh, that's a nice stretch. Stretch, girlfriend. Stretch. Yeah, them f spirit fingers right there. Stretch, stretch, stretch. So there we go. Just sitting there getting uh, our daily dose or our morning dose of social media like we always do. Right, everybody? You guys can agree. So then we finally get up and we're like, you know what? We need to do our daily routine. So we get up and then we start our day. Yeah, look at Des there, still stretching because she's not trying to get up. Wake up, Des. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, don't mind my booty right there, but wake up, wake up. There we go, yeah. Good morning, good morning. Oh, yeah, look at me. Yeah. So next, guys, Des gets on the computer because we like to, you know, do a morning ritual. So she gets on the computer, looks at her, you know, game that she'd be playing, and then we take our vitamins. Well, she takes her medicine. I'm over there taking my vitamins, guys. So no, I'm not a pill popper. I'm just taking vitamins for my hair, skin, and nails, you know. Gotta get that nice glow. Oh, oh, yeah. I tried to be cool there and try to catch it, but I did not catch it in my mouth. So I had to get a new one. So yeah, we're over there. Me trying to be cool, taking our medicines and our vitamins and whatnot so then there goes des she's uh pulling up our thing that we usually do which is uh we listen to a podcast by joel olstein who gives us motivation and inspiration to start our days and let us know that god in whatever higher power that you guys believe in is always out there so that is us getting ready to start our day listening to some motivation by 
the one and only Joel Osteen. Check him out if you haven't, guys. Check him out. If you'll start saying, he reminds me of Jimmy. In, let me feel your presence in the fire. Let me, me feel your, your presence in, this in the fire. Then you'll have a peace that passes understanding. A joy when you could be discouraged. A hope when you should be destroyed. Wow. <laughs> Church, I was gonna say stadium. Basically, Hilton. if you're ever in our area, please stop by. Be a part of one of our services. These are the finest people in all of Houston, Texas, right here at Lakewood. But thanks for tuning in today and thanks for coming out. I like to start with something funny. I heard about this man. He was the only Protestant in this large Catholic neighborhood. Every Friday during Lent, while his neighbors were eating cold fish, he was in his backyard grilling a steak. They couldn't stand the temptation and decided to try to convert him to Catholicism. He finally agreed. A priest came over, sprinkled water on him, said you were born a Baptist, you were raised a Baptist, but now you're a Catholic. The next year, on the first Friday of Lent, they smelled the same smell. They rushed to his house. He was in his backyard sprinkling water over his steak, saying you were born a cow, you were raised a cow, but now you're a fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. This, this is, is my Bible. Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I will be taught the, the word of God. God. I boldly confess. confess. My, my heart is alert. alert. My, my heart is receptive. I will never, never be the same. In Jesus' name. I need to get that right. I'm not <laughs> oh gosh. Today about inviting God in. All right, guys, after we get our daily dose of Joel Osteen, Des and I like to do some yoga. So here is our yoga routine. Well, guys, you can't do yoga without a little meditation. So we do meditation for about 15 to 20 minutes after. Releasing fear guided meditation. This meditation is a meditation to help you release fear or the pain and anger that you feel inside in a world rife with struggle at a personal, national and even international level. It can be challenging to remain hopeful and loving in hard times. And so this recording is designed to help you ground yourself, welcome what you feel, and move towards positive change. Welcome. <coughs> 15 minutes later. All right, guys, so now we have taken our 
medications and our vitamins we listen to joel Osteen's podcast to give us motivation and inspiration to go through our day not worrying about anything or anyone we have done our yoga and we have even done our meditation and we are calm and we are ready to start our day so at this point this is when des and i decide who's gonna take a shower first me or her and in this case it was me so here i am in the bathroom getting ready to take my shower and i decided that i wasn't going to wash my hair today because i had washed it a few days prior and you're not supposed to actually wash your hair every day and there's me being weird i'm not sure what i'm doing but there i am trying to uh you know get undressed so i can take my shower so here we go guys scrub a dub dub in the tub shower time shower 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 time uh the shower 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 time the shower 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 time when I'm taking a shower, I like getting real clean. I wash behind my ears, I wash behind my knees. I like smelling real good when I'm fresh on the scene. And I'm flossing my teeth and get the food out between. And when I climb into the shower, I like my water hot. I'm thankful for running water, it's a blessing I got. I keep using lots of soap and hitting every spot. Even the place between my eyes, try not to get a teardrop. And on the center of my elbows and the holes in my ears, I might make some soapy bubbles, get my up a white beard i like getting in the shower washing off all the dirt and after i get out put on my mickey mouse shirt cause it's shower 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 time shower 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 time shower 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 time shower 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 time much 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 later on. I'm cut like a coupon, hot like the soup on the stove when it's turned on. The mirror's all steamed up, I'm getting all cleaned up. Is this what I dreamed of? I'm fresh like a cream puff, don't sew but I'm seamed up. My pants are all creased up, my teeth are all brushed up. I hop out the bathtub and get me a fresh towel. I'm smelling so fresh now, uh. Shower, shower, shower time, shower, shower, shower time, shower, shower, shower time, yeah. Shower, shower, shower time. Shower, shower, shower time. Shower, shower, shower time. Yeah. Shower, shower, shower time. Shower, shower, shower time. Shower, shower, shower time. Uh, yeah. Shower, shower, shower time. Shower, shower, shower time. Shower, shower, shower time. Shower, shower, shower time. Uh, yeah. Shower, shower, shower time. Shower, shower, shower time. Guys, after shower time comes the hardest part of the routine, which is picking out an outfit. If you guys don't know me, it literally takes me forever to find an outfit. Why? Because I am so picky. I am so indecisive. I never know what to wear. I pick out one thing and I end up wearing another thing. This is me over here trying to ask Des, what do you think I should wear today? Des is like, I don't know, pick something, pick something nice. I'm like, okay, well, what What do you mean? What do you mean nice? You see, this is me over here trying to figure out what to wear. I'm not sure. Mm, should I wear that? No, 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 not feeling it, not feeling it. Ooh, maybe, maybe what? maybe this black shirt yeah i might i might wear that does it look okay guys let me know let me know if this will look okay i'm not sure i'm not really feeling that shirt am i no it doesn't look like it i'm over here dancing oh what is she doing no girl don't get up there no oh you got a nice booty though uh <laughs> anyways uh do you want to wear the hat do you think it looks okay um oh what do you guys think yes no 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 right nah let's put it down Come on, ponder, ponder. Harder, what are you thinking? What do you want to wear? What do you want to wear today? It's a nice day outside. You've already seen what the weather was like, so you might as well wear something nice. Maybe some shorts? It might be a little hot outside. Yeah, shorts. Mm. Oh, yeah, girl, wear those shorts. Guys, those are the shorts that I made while I was at my parents' house up in Pennsylvania last year, but these are some nice shorts people are like where'd you get them and i was like yo girl i made these and they were like damn i like them but yeah so let me know what you guys think of these shorts do they look all right because obviously i felt like they looked okay if i still continue to put them on without your guys's approval yet does it look okay let me know how does it look does it look all right mm. 
Okay, maybe I've decided to wear those. Oh, yeah, maybe I've decided to wear those. I don't know. But what shirt? The black one? Do you think the black one will look okay with it? Mm. No, not really feeling the black shirt. No, I wasn't really feeling the black shirt either. But I thank you guys for your opinion. How does that look? No, that doesn't look right. Find something else, Jaquel. Find something else. Find something else. Oh, here we go. Yes, girl. Look at you. Ooh, looking like a poppy. Ooh, Puerto Rican poppy, even though you aren't. Oh, yeah, girl. Get it. Oh, yep. Yep. Look at you. You got it. All right, guys. Last part of the day is us getting ready to leave. Are we leaving? Where are we going? Where are we going, guys? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, thought we were leaving just yet? Nope. Why? Because we got to make sure we are safe. Always wear your mask. Always wear your gloves everywhere you go, especially in this time of need, guys. You want to stay safe. So if you're going to be outside going out and doing whatever, make sure you are practicing your social distancing and you are keeping safe by wearing a face mask and putting on gloves. And girlfriend, why is that mask so mother freaking big on my face? I don't know. I don't know. Des should give me her mask because that mask does not look okay. Sister, you need a new one or something. Take that off or let Des give you hers. I don't know. Pick something, but just know that that does not look okay. But yes, guys, if you need to go anywhere, make sure you wear gloves, you wear a mask, and you only go out when it's absolutely necessary. If it's essential things that you need, then make sure you go out, you're quick, you grab your stuff, and you are back because you don't need to be getting sick and spreading it everywhere else to everybody. All right, guys. All right, guys, so we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on both of our social medias, and we'll be back with more videos. Peace.